What is up, everybody? We told you we'd be back. And we are with more WWE 2K23. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Guess who's back? It's me! If it's a Russell stream, you know he's gonna be here. And I'm excited. <laughs> Duck, I found my shark last night. Oh, it is a shark with his toes. I know. Oh, it is cool. On the chair. Oh, I see him. I'm probably gonna put those on somebody else because um, his, his tail doesn't make it fit right and it, well, he's falling off of his head because he has one fin and not two ears. Yeah, I had the funniest, I got the funniest, um, Build-A-Bear. I ordered him a few years ago during Shark, the, um, Shark Week collection. And I put him in a Grim Reaper outfit. What am I doing? Losing my mind, I guess. Who are we getting? Sure. I'm gonna try to get this here. For those that haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. We hold tournaments, the crown, the first ever. Then we get 64 and pump it up to be five champions. And the game is a little bastard one for the tournament. What's even funny is the fact that uh, David Priest won yours or Randy Orton won mine. Oh, yeah, that's right, ain't it? I ended up scoring yours one. <laughs> Wait, 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 I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. No, 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 don't go back up. Aw, oh, man, hang on, Flair's not on here, is he? No. Shit! You gonna put Evolution member on each team? Evolution member and a Judgment Day member on each team. We got three, uh, we got two, uh, Triple H's. I mean, Tony Rose is in Legacy. We could put Tony Rose on it, on it as one of them. Okay. We still love you, Cody Reds. That's a little bit of a cheese, I know, but... Well, I'm, the only thing I'm looking for was partners of Damian Priest and partners of Randy Orton. So, you know what? He works. It's Usopp. Usopp defeats with Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> okay. And we'll put Triple H and Cody Rhodes as a team, so everybody can talk about how they feud. Triple H. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Funko Pop Man. There we go. We get Poppy and Randall. I kind of want to tell Raphael it's like he's ready to throw hands. But where's Raphael? Is this the way that has the. Nah, this ain't the one. He's close enough to the throwing hands ref. Where the referee is standing, the, he looked like he was ready to throw hands with somebody. Mm hmm. I know what you're talking about because he kept the one that kept his arms and kept glitching. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that both of them. So, y'all, if there is one, because I know that this, this is going to be a difficult thing, is if there is a wrestler that y'all have never. Hated. If you just could never dislike, who is it? And all the time you watched them. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I was probably Goldberg. Even Goldberg turned heel and then he left off. Can you close that door? No, it's off the ground. Damien Priest has arrived. We already know. I gotta say Roman Reigns. I've never disliked Roman Reigns. Is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York. 
Weighing in at 249 pounds, <laughs> the action champion, <laughs> Damien <laughs> Priest! <laughs> no longer cares for the WWE Universe, no longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found I his true DDP, family been a little and the Judgment Day is their name. DDP. I, but there has never been a time oh, where I have disliked the Roman Reigns. Damien Priest. Well, it's because he has passed judgment on the entire WWE universe. <laughs> has found them all Easy. Unworthy. Stop trying to get under my blanket. I had to let. I, it took me. Oh, she still has limp roll things behind you. On the floor, or not on the floor, but hey, don't be slapping me. You're messing up my blanket. It's right by your hand. Son. The apex predator has arrived. Yeah. That uh, little papers right there. Oh, okay. I can roll no, all of those. We can try to get his cat hair off. And representing his boinking in my <laughs> in my knee. Same thing. Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. He's got my belt. He's a show it. Prestigious internet champion. <laughs> you know, Randy Orton watched his father in the very first WrestleMania main event, and then he went on to main event multiple WrestleManias of his own. Now, this is a stage where he's faced the likes of The Undertaker, Triple H, and John Cena. We have seen Randy Orton go from Why can't being he jump up on the bed like a normal cat? To a legend. <laughs> And we know Orton only needs three. But no, he has a clap under the blanket. The ultimate WrestleMania moment. R K. He wants to, he he knows I got a Such black comforter and he wants to get cat hair all over because he's, he's white and yellow. By the Viper. Already Orton needs Some of y'all seen my cat before. He's been on he's been in some evening. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's gonna show us tonight that he's, he's he much more like than that. Yeah, Randy Orton is not very good. Son, if you pick on that, I'll pick on your head. He's over there my mom's uh, paintings I gotta finish. WrestleMania is where Batista gets what he wants. Okay, that, they said WrestleMania is where Batista gets what he wants. You know what you gotta oh, do? You gotta give it to him. In a new direction. Tons of rookie talent, but now has that edge that can bring him even further. And Son! Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Yes. I was wondering, I was trying to figure what he was grabbing at. You cannot ask for a higher pressure situation, yet Dominic Mysterio thrived and showed how much he had truly learned from the guidance of his father, Rey Mysterio. Dominic certainly wise beyond his years. He can do things in the ring that sometimes takes others years to learn. Yeah, his, his entrance was so fast, I didn't even pay attention. No, he's Here the opposite of fast. Finn Balor, a man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And representing the Judgment Day. You can just sit in chair if you want to. I can move to the other side of the bed so I can sit in around it. Weighing in at 190 pounds. You, you can sit there. I'll move over here. And pull. I can sit in here. I can see very well here, actually. My goodness. Oh, Finn Balor is a true fierce competitor who will beat down anyone yeah. in his. I can already see where his little teeth punctured a hole in my nail box. And from Atlanta, 
You know, look like Cody Rhodes coming out. WWE Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Like Imagine all the hard work, Cody Rhodes, and I love Cody the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if yeah, especially the last. It's this guy. Well, I, <laughs> well, yeah, pretty deadly. No. That match was hilarious. I got hit by how many finishing moves? <laughs> I got hit by at least five. on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. You know what? During the stream, remind me, I want to get Roman Reigns. I used to be really good with him. Now he, he's getting to the rant. They're saying his name, and that's it. The COO of WWE, <laughs> but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. They want to see what's best for business. You know what we must do? And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game triple. Only that was the weakest Triple H I've ever heard. Wins Undertakers. <laughs> you know how you get higher when he says Triple H? He said Triple H. Make way I was for the so Irish Ace. I this love his nickname, the Irish good. Ace. And Don't like him, but I like his nickname. Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. JD's recently yeah. proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible. You know what? He was weird looking then, too. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic. Oh, I would I would uh, be humble and say, I know I ain't no beauty pageant winner, but he's ugly. He's a scoundrel. But actually, I have a first place trophy for a beauty pageant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did Cody really just walk right beside me into a cartwheel? Also, y'all, I haven't done beauty pads since I was like three years old, so. Nice. I sent him a piece on a free trip. Help. It's starting. I live. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Climbs back inside. You know what I'm do anyway, little bit here, man. Yeah. I just put um laid on top of him and started trying to get this nail filed. And if he wasn't getting that was no the point even even worry. Okay. In the corner or on the floor? Okay. It's got a crack in it from the cat I, 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 that cat came to your own skull. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a 
their new plan. He's looking a little off balance. Hey, good. Sizing up there. A rope step. Wow. That was beautiful, but I missed. He was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. And finds a counter. He avoids the damage. And just being tossed away there. I think so. I think you know who stole so much from What's he going to do here? Put me down. Elbow drop right on point. And we see the attention over here. That has four trophies and two TRs. And I can't find. I've got two, two of my trophies. First time I've been, I was hit at least once. In the face of danger. Damn it. And he gets set back into the ring. Look at Priest. I I'll stand out here in case he decides to try to run away again. Rhodes could be on the verge of seeing stars. <laughs> Devastating attack from the Viper. There's two. Got him. They outlasted every other team in this match. Puts the finishing touches on this one for the win. Yeah, with an elimination match, your number can be up at any moment. But they've managed to outmaneuver all the other competitors here tonight. Spud wants this, um, I don't even know what it's called. Polishing block. Manicure block. It's the four-sided thing that you can file, buff, polish, and shine. So I'm talking about a car. It makes my fingernails feel so good. I'm gonna have to put use this on yours. It makes your nails feel so good when you're done. You want Oscar or Zelina Vega? Uh, I'll take Zelina. She is so much fun. Where's the mist? I think she's already got it. Ignore the fact that I have a slight obsession. Shut up, Sammy. I don't blame Give me a sec, I'll figure out what I meant. Um, interrogation of Sonya Deville's stalker. Ooh, that's on there. It's, um, it's, I see, I watched it from a YouTube channel called Explore With Us. And they showed the full interview. And that, 
dude, that guy was creepy. I figured he probably had mental problems. I mean, when you get mad at a lesbian for not being attracted to you, a man, I mean, you can't be fully competent. I mean, having a crush on her at first, before you find out, that's one thing. But then after you find you feel like, oh, I would make her like me anyway. It's like, yeah, that's just not likely. Right? Oh, uh, will you uh, pick up Law for me, please? He fell over. Yeah. Thank you. All hail! Have you had to see him yet? Queen Zelina Cole! Put some respect on the crown's name! The following is a yep. fatal four-way tag team match. Yeah, I got another lot of words. He's a good The Dangerous Alliance from Queens, New York. The women's prestigious oh, yeah, internet champion, Queen Zelina. Hey, you see it, um, you tell Queen Zelina possesses over a decade of experience in the ring. Yeah, you may not like her attitude, but... Queen Zelina is a true student of the game. She knows every yeah. trick in the book. Uh, and Kaisen knowing those is, tricks um, has brought her great on success. The table. What is wrong with Queen or Zelina's attitude, Saxton? You sound like a real peasant. Give me about four hours and I'll tell you. Yeah, y'all, yeah, shout out to Duck, because he's actually keeping up with my stuff. I'm kind of like my manager. Enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. And representing the Dangerous Alliance. Yeah, but the thing I mean is the fact that we haven't posted since September. And you have kept up with everything and gone back and got all that. I don't know how to watch you do it. Byron, you are definitely not ready for Oscar. Oh, Michael, maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Oscar. Can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Asuka. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Asuka's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw women's title, SmackDown women's title, NXT women's title, women's tag team title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent Asta knows what happened, it's too late. Badass, and I love her so much. I'm still, I'm still making funky noises. It's Mella. Oh boy, guys, she is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, and her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. Carmella can come out because I like Carmella. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella. Uh, well, got one. She calls herself the most beautiful Hello, woman in all of WWE. And Byron, I ask you, as they say on the internet, where's the lie? She has won the SmackDown Women's Championship, Money in the Bank, the WrestleMania Battle Royal, Mixed Match Challenge, the Women's Tag Team Championship. Shall I go on? Okay, okay, I have to admit, she truly is untouchable. I love Carmella. I hope she's doing well with her baby. The Hall of Fame, Glamazon. And from Buffalo, New York, the Divas Champion, 
I don't, like, I don't usually even get polite like wrestling she hats and stuff, but WWE Hall of Famer, I have to have hers. Who has inspired generations I think the only two I have are hers and superstars. Well, She was once a feared villain, now a beloved pioneer. She's the first woman to compete in an I Quit match, and she's also been a part of the Men's Royal Rumble match. Yeah, male or female, the Glamazon will wreck you. Just ask the Judgment Day, the Miz, Maurice, the list goes on and on. Which one did I not send? Well, the queen of the boardroom, none other than Stephanie. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, but I Stephanie McMahon. I get one, though. It's okay. Well, here's a woman who absolutely commands oh. respect. It seems like Stephanie McMahon is staring oh, daggers into the WWE Universe. And in a matter of moments, the oh, entire WWE Universe will feel so the wrath of the boss. The baddest slap in the business. You know, you still remember, you know, you still remember how to do that slap at, um, open hand strike with as Austin. She is just throws all of her weight into room. it and knocks him down. Hey, Stephanie. Do it, Stephanie. Looks like she's got a bad slap in the business. The way he popped that pee made me uncomfortable. <laughs> well, she's ready to get in there and put someone's lights out. Well, at least we don't oh, I didn't need to let Stephanie come out. I'll finish it. I'm afraid I'm hiding my drink. You'll watch Wendy Chu come out. Wendy Chu is absolutely freaking adorable. From Chinatown, New York. Wendy Chu! Well, Wendy Chu doesn't want to hide her uniqueness, so she chooses to embrace it. Where is, what happened to Wendy Chu? I don't know. Did she get hurt? I know this might sound mean, but uh, I'm not, uh, not mean for the out I like I love Wendy Chu. I'm hoping it's just that. I'm hoping they didn't get rid of her. Hey, hey, look alive, look alert out there. Hey, you can't least underestimate if she's just the out with an injury, at least she at least she'll come back. You sleep in a race car bed, Saxton. Leave me alone, Corey. I still want that onesie. I think it's cute. Yeah, you're not you're not winded, you you get it. What? Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. You need pictures of Spider-Man, but I'm kidding. Yeah. Well, if you look. Tag team ding, ding. in store for us tonight. Elimination. Oh, <laughs> Stephanie get pinned. She still fights out in one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not she covers for the pin. No, 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 no. There's the breakup just in the nick of time. Uh oh. Face first. I'm going to be the arena. Torturous focus on the leg. Punishing the leg. The slap or silly. Oscar with the Oscar lock. Oh, Oscar lock. No one's ready. Get out of the floor and start eating the they brought. You're 
It does a really good bird dad. You give them their freedom. And I think they do appreciate it because they come in and go back in on their own. Queen's Elena setting it up. Royal correct. Will that sew this up for Zelina? Into the ring now. Ooh, the knee catches her flush. Come on, baby. Is he at home? Striking with the axe kick. That's why he wants to get out. Let me let him out so he can see the app. Quick, honey. Bella might be money, but the lead of the queen. Hey, guess what? I'm a dirty little cheat. <laughs> Vega has a Madara Uchiha tattoo up, makes me happy and I don't know why. We could see a tap out. It's no one's ready. Right? <laughs> Got it. They outlasted every other team fun. in this match. Here are your winners. Queen Zelina and Asuka. Asuka closes the yeah. door for the team. Elimination matches are absolutely a cruel mistress, but they certainly found a way to overcome such a challenge. I love this around. I don't know why. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're going right. And I'm a dirty man, duck. I'm a dirty man. I will punch you in the face and poke you in the eyes. No, I'll punch you in the nuts and poke you in the eyes. They need to bring you back me and poke people in the ass. Yeah, I kind of missed that. Oh, no, you still get the dragon off too, you said. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you reminded me. The scene when I passed and all that. I am glad. I, I have genuinely forgot about that. I'm glad you said something. these fingernails. My goodness, they need it. <laughs> they need some help. Wait, that's not okay. I want on this one. Y'all in trouble. The tribal chief has arrived. He's the first ever undisputed WWE Universal Champion. I thought when they put Roman Reigns in the Hall of Fame, he's gonna be the headliner. Oh yeah, that's no doubt about that. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, representing the bloodline yeah. from Pensacola, Florida. I will probably cry. <laughs> well, he says he's tired. WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Here's a man who's held the Universal Championship for over two years. Greatness. Redefined. That's God mode. When you That's see my boy a right there. superstar like Roman Reigns, you see a man who seems practically untouchable. Exactly, Saxton. Like a god, an immortal, part of the pantheon of all-time greats in the WWE. There was you one game where I could whoop anybody that asked Roman Reigns. I don't know which one it was, though. The championship which one was it where I had to help you with that Roman spear Reigns. challenge? I think it was 2K20. It was before his tribal chief demo, but it was after the shield. Let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. Because they could do anything with me when I had money on that. Weighing in at 230 pounds. He's from Maryland? I would not. I would have guessed he was like Florida. WWE Universe would know LA Knight's name. It was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Same result in WWE. He strikes me as a Florida man. <laughs> and I'm not saying that to be me. I love LA Knight. I'm just saying, he strikes me as like a beach guy. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. 
Oh, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles. Great, right. yeah, he has world, two he decades of experience for the stage of WWE. How old is he? Make way for the double champ. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts. Is that, is that the newest version of John Cena? Alright, I gotta check the one. NXT UK yes, Tag Team Champions, John Cena! So, I wanna see if it was photoshopped or if it's legit. Imagine all the hard work. Because the somebody said the that they did Cena wrong when they actually gave him his balls following the I wanna see if, they, if that's legit. He's a two-time Hall of Famer ready to make a little noise. You know, I never knew that x Pac's music had an F-bomb in it. Yeah. No, they don't bleep it out. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 200. Well, they, um, hers is the beginning of the song. This is like halfway through. Well, I did, but it's truly well, I know more than a utility player. He is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer. He said he's not the man you want to, you know what, with. Consider the glue of D-Generation X. Throughout history, he gets to come out because I like X-Pac. Great happen in this business. X-Pac usually isn't far behind. Yeah. Well, I think some great moments might be in store here tonight. Eggs <laughs> back with a mood. <laughs> he glitched through the road. That guy already went through the road. <laughs> I'll never forget that. That's hilarious. Now you'll get him out. I know exactly who you are. I've learned the colors on the thing up there. Social media icon has arrived. <laughs> The madman from uh, Truther Consequences, I had him in New there. Mexico, has arrived. Oh and from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. Hey, back here, we're hey, about the Who are you thinking of? Cactus Jack, whose origins date back to both ECW and WCW. I can do yours, you want tag? down to size with his words and fists. And from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett. Yeah. Confidence and eloquence, not just behind the desk, but in the ring. You're right about that, Saxton. A multiple time He does look really good with the beard. The beard really suits me. Yeah. Multiple teams facing off in this tornado. What? What are we looking at? What are we doing? I don't know. Hold on. Where's y'all say this bald spot? Is this the right Cena? Yeah, it's gotta be. That's the most recent one. Uh, I'll bring it down. I mean, I can kind of see a little bit of thin in the hair and top. No, it was on around the back of his head. I don't think this is the right John Cena. That's the, the, the recent John Cena. This is a different John Cena. It's when he looks like Ernest. No, that's it. Huh. He looks like a crackhead. Yeah, he does. He looks like a crackhead about the five people you ain't got a dollar. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, they ain't done that back. I want to see ball spot John Cena. Yeah. Help me. Help me. Very 
Going to be me. Side, the Superman punch. Oh, that corner run strike is cool. Let me Superman punch him in the spears. Oh, I'll try to do that then. Yeah, just run him under the corner. Okay. We universe on his side here. Yep. Oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It might be the Fine. Go on, cheesy. Cheese eater! Use one of those. Give it back. Captain Jack, if anybody could eat it, it would be him. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Here's how he got phone fit. Oh god, god, god. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Kick to the gut. Getting set up for something in the Yeah! I love this move. Little Johnny Cena going somewhere. Nice. And the 
I miss getting Roman Reigns. I don't even know why I stopped. I guess it was some of the other people I wanted to try out. I kind of feel bad to say it, but I kind of forgot about it. I've been too busy getting pretty man and poppy. And the uh, melted Leon. <laughs> yeah, I love Elay Dragon off the hill cycle happens if you put Resio to Leon in the microwave and forget he's there. Yeah. You gotta stand and deliver. The the show that had the most beautiful hosts in all of WWE history. <laughs> Oh, I saw that. I was so happy for him. Yeah, I was. Still makes me dirty. Drop a beer, though. <laughs> well, he never was a good, good guy. He really wasn't. He was a horrible face. Those people forgot we're on here. Cause I forgot Karen Cross was on. Oh, Shanti the Adonis. Yeah, Shanti the Adonis. I would rather have them have kept Top Dollar. I actually like Top Dollar. Gender? I forgot he was on here. I knew it was on one of them I actually like getting him. He's really fun. You should try him sometime. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, he's a lot of fun. Who's that idiot? There you go. That's like a blonde version of someone I once knew. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> you know what I want you to do? I want you to bury him. I got most of them we forgot about were mid carters. Yeah. I guess the only one you could consider a main a main eventer at any point would be Jinder Mahal. Because he was a main eventer at one point when he fought uh, Randy Orton. That's true. Or Baron Corbin, I guess. Even though he wasn't much of a main eventer, he didn't main event pay per views. True. Why is Shanky so small? Why is Ashanti so small? When, it, when he first came along, I didn't even dare try to pronounce his name. I didn't want to float in front You'd think it'd be another eye. I don't understand for that means. Looks like a lot of people really don't really understand American names. And then there's me with a name that no one can pronounce. Even though I haven't, even though I introduced myself. From Moscow, Russia, oh, oh, that's what it is. Never mind. I get it now. I thought he was British. He's Russian. I did not know that. I thought he was British. I am so sorry. Little Melted Leon. Inside the ring here tonight. His rage. All that rage, a small body. He plays like he just throws himself at your head first. Okay. Now I know. Cause y'all, I really th I thought he was British. That shows how much attention I pay. They get all the time. I thought he was thinking British. He's Russian. You know, he looks Russian. Expand his power to all of WWE. I love that when he does that. He looks like he just came up with the most brilliant scheme. And it's good eye. <laughs> Here comes some of the best interest music in all of WWE history. Hulkamania has arrived. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And from Venice Beach, California, 
Weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. From music videos to Saturday morning cartoons, Hulkamania is everywhere. Including this announce table. Try to be a little unbiased, Saxton. WWE Universe on its feet for the immortal Hulk Hogan. And Michael, you can see exactly why Hulkamania will never die. It is showtime for Shanti the Adonis. And representing Henro from Baltimore, Maryland. I have a genuine question. Maybe someone can actually answer for me. Like, I don't, I, I want to know the actual answer. Why have people started putting two E's when they say V? Well, he can't relate to you, Saxon. This dude knows what it's like on the streets. He's not a character. This is reality in and out of the ring. Can someone please explain that? Maybe I'm not up to date with all this new, this new lingo, but I'm confused. Because I thought the this man -E -E is a highly gifted your. athlete like I get, you ye, I get to ye, I get to you I don't understand does it mean something else now I don't understand this new lingo things are about to get grinding and my excitement level is going to the moon Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, the million dollar champion, Cameron Grimes. I wonder why I didn't go to his camera hose. They hear body count, they're like, oh boy. Well, Cameron Grimes told me he considers his WWE contract a nice bonus. And he considers yours pocket chain. The skyscraping Shaggy is here. And from India, weighing in at 340. They don't even tell you where he's from, they just say the India. PC champion, the skyscraping Shanky. How great is it to finally see Shanky breaking free from Jinder Mahal? Uh Please have a different partner. That's the funniest thing. I guess they just said, it's great to see Shaggy breaking free from Gender Mahal. <laughs> and from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja. Who is it? Is that the style? Gender Mahal. I don't understand all this stuff. Maybe that's something they do in India. Maybe that's like their, their thing. Like how Americans have mullets. Oh, baby, let the good times roll. I figured you'd like this goof. You probably laugh at all his jokes, too. I happen to find Happy Corbin extremely entertaining. He ran with it. Yeah. I, I got nothing Kansas but respect City for Baron Boy. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! Well, the one thing
thing you can say about Happy Corbin yeah, is that he does have 100%. a pretty impressive list of accomplishments. He's extremely dangerous and he's not the yeah, kind I'm of Yeah, I King Corbin. It was like a Game of Thrones on. type gimmick. Should have been humble when Pen Hey, you can, if, if you can take the dumbest stuff they give you and run with it the way that Baron Corbin ran with it, you deserve props. If I had a hat, I'd take it off to it. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. And from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at Jersey in the Channel Islands. Pounds, Where is that? Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier is standing to UK, one of the most entertaining oh, competitors in the history. I've never heard of that. Jersey in the channel out. Hey, feel the tag teams here as this elimination match. Boing! <laughs> I flew into him, busted him up. I think he's dead. Blink and you'll miss him. There's a lot about that. It should be easy to find in yellow, bright yellow book. What space do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? Ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your own goal. Anytime you waste second guessing you know, yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on the weapon. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. That's German Sir, sure, not an out business. Here comes two million. But he somehow got me back and dropped me on my head. We have four in air. Oh no, he's in the line of danger now. <laughs> oh, this will turn your lights out. Ow. A bounce ball on skyscraper shaky. Oh, his bones hurting, all right. <laughs> I thought he would knock me out. I thought he would call for help. I thought he would yell it back up. <laughs> Why is this dream so funny? <laughs> yeah, they are. He was trying to help his party. He's sick of shaking shit. I'm dirty too. There he goes. Guys, now there's inside. I'm almost got a dot. Boing. You're going to get your dot. You stumble on him. struggling a bit here. But it's amazing how long it's taken for the damage to really set in for them in a match like this. Can't discredit that. There you go. So <laughs> he does. With that move tonight. He's like, hey, what does it hurt? His orchestra as he prepares. Why the referee get down? Try to count. Even the referee knows it's over. Yo, 
so funny. Get the win. Outlasted every other team tonight. That made a good team. <laughs> I like throwing myself, but I like throwing myself in the middle. to have their arm finally raised up high. Yeah, outlasting every other superstar, doing exactly what they had to do in the process, and doing so when they had to do it. Timing is just so important in a match like this. I want to play two. I want to get Roman Reigns again. Okay. Sure. Let me do that instead. Make it easier. I just want to get Roman Reigns again. Roman Reigns was too much fun. I mean, it couldn't get more perfect than that. Oh yeah. I, I was gonna be on the outside anyway. I was gonna go jump whoever was back. Okay. Uh, uh, do I want Roman Reigns or do I want Ro um, SummerSlam 21? Pick me a Reigns. 21 has a golden glove. Oh, I'll play. I'll go. I'll, I'll golden gloves my last. Up. Oh, oh wait, wait. Pick stuff to be not. I gotta move that for resiliency. Goth mommy and thick mommy. Yep. Who am I, sassy Samoan uncle? I guess so. Who do you want to fight? Uh. That's not solo Sudoku. Goth mommy and thick mommy and sassy Samoan uncle and fat baby boy. I couldn't think of anything for him. Shit yeah, there you go. Shit ain't cousin. I will give him one thing. He keeps he holds that gimmick. Yeah, he does. Let's see the video of um when they were at Crown Jewel when the cat came backstage mm -hmm. and Bailey was playing with the cat Solo just stood there with that same stupid look on his face he never broke character I would be bro I would have broke character I would be down there playing with the cat I've been playing with that cat hats off to him I guess for keeping his character I bet when that camera went off though it was a different story I would think be a cat person. Cats are cute. They're fluffy. They give you a good laugh. Yeah. It depends on the cat, though. Some cats are sweet. Some cats are mean. Some cats are in between. And there's butter like Spud. Spud has his moments of being sweet. Ready to pass judgment on the women's yeah. division. I will give Spud one thing. He's a good therapy cat. If I'm feeling, if I feel a panic attack or something coming on, he will actually come sit with me. The Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia. The no wonder that cat like the way he is. Rhea you can tell a lot about a person by the company they keep, and Ripley is in company with true. Evil. Yeah, we are a stressed family. No, 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 no. Ripley is simply realizing what it takes to reach the top. A complete disregard for the rules. A complete lack of morality. 
The nightmare is real. They just yeah, got similar. a lot more frightening. See, they, trigger warning is dark. And I don't mean graphics wise, I mean story wise, it is dark. Nightmare, call her the Eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. I did go on um YouTube, my YouTube channel, and I fixed the Bramble Stream. Like I went into it, that looked at the age stuff. I didn't age restrict it, but I did put a warning in there that, that game is not for kids. Chief. Roman I didn't want a child to stumble upon that game. My favorite part of that Everybody whole game representing the was bloodline. definitely um, when you're walking Florida, by through Nacken's Pond and he's sitting there playing the WWE violin and all of a sudden he just stops and looks at you. I felt a chill run down my spine when that happened. Well, here is the merciless leader. Snack and Nacken was definitely my favorite line. character though. Yeah, you could make the argument that the so bloodline well. is perhaps the most dominant group in the history of WWE. I think you're right, Saxton. Roman put his entire family on his back and has since pushed them all to incredible heights. He's achieved things that most only dream of. Just piles of championships. He made the long climb up the mountain and shoved everybody else off of it. No one stands in the way of the head of the table for too long. Yeah. A top lady in the yeah. real lioness. She's good though. I were I, I I hope she's okay. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, the NXT Women's Champion, Nakia Lyons! I heard, um, that if you lose, it won't be long and I don't know how, the how, the, how, it works behind, how the stuff works behind on. it, but I heard that if you lose one pound, that's four pounds off your knees. And she's so young. I like Nikita Lyons. I want her to be around for as long as humanly possible. How you doing? You are looking at the future of the bloodline. And her partner from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 200. Sikoa. I'll get it right eventually. Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos. He should have made his legs go the other way. That makes like his ass sagging. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into Ooh. fights on the street. Go like teeth. What's in my toothy smile? What's well, my guy's smile? <laughs> It was probably he. I'm not trying to say this sound mean because I like Solo, but he needed to gain a little bit of weight because he didn't look intimidating. Rules. It's time for a mixed tag match. Oh, kick to the face. <laughs> Back to baby boys. Family squabble. Really Eastern and Kays all over again. Flip flop right one of his throat. 
Walsh has like a frisbee. It's truly impressive to I hit him with the chomp. The She's beginning to flag a little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many of our cousins remember that? Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. Rip time. No doubt Ripley just ended this. I'm, I'll, uh, by the way, I'm cool at family, you, uh, family reunions now. I don't pick fights anymore. I was a mean child to pick fights everywhere we went. We were there. The park, family reunions, the filet. Do one kid out of the helicopter thing. But the thing about it was, and this is the bad part, I never started it. That was the weird part. Yeah, as out of a couple as they have seemed to be coming into this match, they simply yeah, I would I, I would go in Chick Fil A and there'd be one kid who was getting not. bullied, so I'd go I'd go guys. help him. I actually prefer to think of our dynamic more like a two-on-one handicap. Then one, one boy decided that what, he got mad because I helped one, another little boy. I mean, that was a little younger too. They were about the same age, but he was just short. And he was bullying him, and he said that he'd go get his brother. I said, all right, you go get yours, and I'll go get mine. They won't find it out. So I, he went and got his, I went and got done. Yeah, I had to stay down another Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Kids. We're about to be whooping some ass. Yeah, look, the windows like <laughs> I can't remember how many times. I was a fat kid. I mean, I'm fat now. I was a fat kid anywhere. <laughs> Doug was like solo. <laughs> a lot of kids didn't bother me because of how fat I was. I mean, <laughs> If he sits on me, that's it. Contrary to popular belief, I was a skinny dweeb as well. And they would see me, and they were like, "No, get away from me! Get, get, get that fat kid away from me!" But I wasn't tall. I wasn't tall kid. I was just fat. And I was just like, "Oh crap!" You were like solo. It was like so Jimmy. <laughs> Pretty much. One thing about us. We do how to work together. Growing up, it was just me and you. And it carried over into the wrestling game. Yeah. It was, it's like our whole lives for 26, almost 27 years, it's been me and Doug against the world. And we still stick with that, <laughs> with that st the mindset. If you come after one of us, you got to deal with the end. Especially if you mess with him, because if you mess with him, I'm coming. I'm coming and I'm bringing the bat. <laughs> like if you won't, if you in my circle, I'm very protective. If you fall out of my circle, you might be owned. Root hog or die, bitch. That was fun though. That was fun. Y'all um stick around. We'll probably do some kind of one for you tomorrow. Ooh. I like One Piece. It's been a while, so I think we really should have One Piece. Just, we'll describe who which one it is. We'll let you guys figure it out between now and then. Yeah, I'm going to be sitting here like a, a raccoon in a, in a trash can full of shiny stuff. So you got another surprise for y'all coming to binge one, of these, one, one night, so y'all stick around for that because it sounds like it's funny. Oh, yeah. Some people probably won't like it, but... It's going to be fun. Let's just say it's going to be very wholesome. Yeah, I think I would enjoy it. I'm bringing a wholesome to a toxic, some, some wholesomeness to a toxic environment. We'll look at this fire man these thumbnails real quick too while we're at it. But for now, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Oh, first of all, thanks for playing, Doug. Hey, thank you. I, I love these wrestling games. I do too. And also, y'all going to see a lot more Roman Reigns, so I thoroughly enjoy that. <laughs> I love Roman Reigns so much. But now, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Go check us out on our socials at GamerGifts54 and Duck 55 You can also go check us out over on the YouTube channel at GamerGifts and find all of our past streams just like those and minus anything that, of course, says Twitch exclusive. But as always, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or rest of your night, depending on where or when you watch this video. Keep on keeping on, everybody. And until we come back together to embark on another crazy adventure just like this one,
Deuces, deuces. Peace. Go follow her on Facebook. Yes, Facebook's back up, so go follow it too.